Hey guys, um, I have another word of the Lord that I want to share. Um, you know, the other night I was in a place of worship. I was just in a place of spending time with God and I saw a quick vision, right? And in the vision was, it was so strange for me for, for a little while. I, I thought it to be funny that God would show me this in this kind of vision, but I saw an angel and the angel was wearing like, like grayish, ash gray clothing, like sackcloth, as though it was like mournful or grieved. The spirit of God is grieved. And I saw this angel took dirty garments and it was put in like a lot of dirt. If you see me look this way, um, I, I write down my visions when I get them. And when it's time for me to release them to you, you know, I have it in front of me to make sure that, you know, I'm remembering accurately what the Lord said during that time when he was giving, um, giving me this word. Um, so the Lord gave me this word um, on April 1st. Um, so I'm recording this on April 1st. I'm not sure when I will be releasing it, but he told me to record it today, April 1st. So in the vision I saw, like I said, I saw an angel wearing an ash gray clothing. Wearing an ash gray clothing, looks sackcloth. That's just the first thing that comes to my mind when I see it. And I saw this angel putting dirty garments in a washing machine, just putting dirty garments in a washing machine. And it was a lot of dirty garments. Then I hear the Lord say, no more dirty garments. He was referring to those who were in influence and, and those who he who, who who are supposed to be following him. He's re, he was referring to also us, his children. And he was saying, no more dirty garments. No more dirty garments. No more dirty garments. But he was saying it specifically to those who are in leadership, those who are who are in seats and position of influences in the body of Christ. And he was saying, no more dirty garments. No more dirty garments. We got to be clean. I hear God say, stop soiling my garments. Stop soiling my garments. Live right. Live holy. Or at least try. <laughs> the Lord will show me that a lot of people are just intentionally messing up. It's not like they're mistakenly sinning. They're, they're just intentionally sinning. Yes, we are all born in sin. But the Bible says that, you know, when we're tempted, he gives us a way to escape. And there are a lot of people there looking at the escape route and they're looking at the sin and they're going like this and they go <laughs> they go where the sin is at when there was an escape route that the escape route that was there i hear god say stop soiling my garment and i hear god say esther is coming and deborah and deborah is coming the righteous shall not suffer because those with dirty garments so I think when he said the Esther is coming and the Debo and the Deborah is coming, he's bring he's rising up intercessors and advocates that are going to stand as liaison for the righteous one. It would not be a situation where they say the bad apple, the good apple will suffer for the bad apple. It, it, he said, "I'm not going to allow that. I'm not going to allow my righteous." ones to suffer because of those who are wearing um dirty garments so he's raising up esther and he's raising up deborah's or deborah's to be advocate and intercessors to pray on behalf of the righteous ones in the land stop soiling the garment man you know, and, and every time God give me a prophetic word, I, I take it for myself first. So I'm not here pointing fingers. I'm no one to point fingers. Sometimes I literally look like, God, why, why, why are you using me? Not saying I'm out here sinning or, or, or I'm out here intentionally sinning. But I just know that we all as human beings fall short of the glory of God. None of us is worthy. 
but I'm just being this mouthpiece today. And every time, every time I make a video and I come on my channel and I give a prophetic word, I take it for myself too. I heed to my prophetic words, to the, well, to the prophetic words that God speak through me. Stop soiling, stop soiling the garment. God said, I know it's not easy. I know there's temptation out there, but I've given you an escape route. I've given you an exit. I've made a way for you. I know the enemy prowl like a roaring lion. I know that the enemy is a predator and he chases after us and he hunts after us and he comes after us. God said, I know, I know. And that's why I say, that's why I give sufficient grace. And that's why I give um, new mercies every morning. But it's like we're taking advantage. We're abusing sufficient grace and we're abusing new mercies each morning. God says, stop soiling my garment. The spirit of God is grieved. Stop soiling, stop soiling. Be intentional about try to, trying to live holy or be intentional about living holy. Be intentional about it. Be intentional about it. Be intentional. Be intentional. We serve an intentional God. So we need to be intentional children, intention, in, intentional servant. We need to intentionally stop soiling the garment. That's what God is saying today. He ain't saying it's easy. He's just saying, stop deliberately getting dirty. Get it together. Stop soiling the garment, man. He clothed us with faith. He clothed us with strength. He clothed us with grace. He clothed us with mercy. Those things are garments. He clothed us with praise. But time and time again, we, it's like a slap in his face. Imagine you buy new clothes for somebody and you give it to them and they just treat it like crap. You buy some nice, expensive Gucci or Louis or something. And you give it to somebody and they do, there was no appreciation. They just, you know, do whatever they want to do with it. Stop selling the garment. I pray that this word reaches the soul of those who listen. It reached my soul. It corrected me. It checked me. So I hope it have the same impact on, on those who are listening. We have to get to a place where we stop soiling the garments of God. And be intentional about living holy and living for him.